A plan to help residents produce vegetables, herbs, and flowers locally is growing. It's the sixth annual Door County Seed Library program that kicked off this morning. Fox 11's Eric Peterson was there and has our report from Sturgeon Bay. Inside the Sturgeon Bay branch of the Door County Library, Shauna Eisenman says she has a list of seeds she needs to fill. I tried to get deer resistant ones, so I went for the marigolds and the corn flowers. And then I'm going to try a sweet William, too, and dianthus. Eisenman is part of the Seed Library program from beans to peppers and even corn for popping. Librarian Laura Kayakon says more than 10,000 seeds are ready to go at all eight branches. What we're trying to do is um, trim down the variety of seeds, of the basic seeds, so that we don't get overwhelmed, but then a lot of places donate seeds. So we have the chosen varieties plus the donated seeds. So there's quite a bit to choose from. So all of the branches get some of the basic varieties and then a, a mixture of the donated seeds. For those who may need assistance, Master Gardener alumna Mary Beth Cleary Phipps says she's here to help. We also encourage them to save seeds from what they grow and give them uh, instructions on how to save them. For instance, tomatoes, you can't just take the, the seed and let it be and expect it to, to grow the next year. You have to put them in water and let them more or less ferment. And then you dry them out and then you save them for the following year. Meanwhile, Shauna Eisenman has her list completed. She says using native plants is important. Most definitely it is, Why? yes. Because that way you get something that's, that's local and you know it's probably hardy for the area instead of just getting something off the shelf. In Sturgeon Bay, Eric Peterson, Fox 11 News. The Door County Library Seed Program is free. Officials say they encourage people to take what they need, which is typically six to eight packets. I'm from Connecticut. Okay, where are you from now? Sturgeon Bay. Okay. Tell me about how are you involved? Are you a master gardener? Or I'm a master gardener alumna. I did the master gardener training. And uh, now as an alumna, I get all the benefits in terms of the educational programs and the courses that are offered. Uh, but I don't have to report my hours. So. Tell me about the, the seed library program that's going on in Door County. Well, that's the seed library is kind of a subset of the master gardeners. And it started in 2019 with just the Sturgeon Bay Library. And since that time, it's grown to all eight libraries in Door County. Wow. And it's um, seeds are free. Anybody can be a member. And if you are a member, there is a great monthly newsletter that's full of information, uh, including recipes and book recommendations. And um, I think that's it. Tell me about the, what are some of the favorites that uh, people like to come and, uh, and check out, uh, so to speak? Uh, tomatoes, lettuce, peppers, and the Ken Paschke beans are very popular, yeah. which we hope to have. Uh, we don't have it today, but we'll have them very soon. Okay. Why do people, you know, why do people come here and take advantage of this program? Well, uh, partially because the seeds are free. And it's also encouraging them uh, to grow their own food for healthier food. And then we also encourage them to save seeds from what they grow yeah. and give them uh, instructions on how to save them. For instance, tomatoes, you can't just take the, the seed and let it be and expect it to, to grow the next year. You have to put them in water and let them more or less ferment and then you dry them out, and then you save them for the following year. Wow. Yeah, but this is all free. Anybody can join. Are you kind of preaching to the choir for people? Because, I mean, are a lot of the folks here, are they, do they have a green thumb already? Or, I mean, Not necessarily, no. Okay. Uh-uh. We're encouraging people to, uh, to raise some of their own veg vegetables. Yeah. Um, so, so why do you guys do this? Because, well, I, I'm not sure how it got started. The woman who started it had read about some other seed libraries. There is a seed library, I believe, in Green Bay, 
Um, there are seed libraries all around the country, and it just seemed like uh, Door County would be a good place to start one, and it's been a success. And then um, you want people to, um, and then how, how are we going to get the Ken Paschke beans in here? You said the, they're still... What's the status? Well, there is a, there is a, a program. Uh, there are seed stewards, and they take the Ken Paschke beans and grow them, and then save them so we can have a continuing supply. Okay. And uh, the sewer, the excuse me, the stewards are still being signed up and getting their seeds. Okay. Once that happens, then we'll have some here for the general public to grow. So no Ken Paschkes today. No Ken Paschkes today, but they're coming soon. Got it. And then how many different, or how many seeds do we have? Do we have tens of thousands? or yeah. Thousands, easily. Okay. Right. okay. Anything else you want to add? Oh, people, uh, they're free, but you don't want people to overload, kind of be, take what you need type stuff. What's that all about? Uh, well, we don't want them to take, you know, dozens. Uh, we want them to take, you know, five, maybe five or six varieties. Yeah. Oh. The Seed Library has a website. Okay. They're also on Facebook, and you can sign up to become a member on the website. A member, and then what does that do? Well, they get the newsletter. Okay. Um, and uh, it, that, as I said, that will give them information on books that are relevant to whatever is happening seasonally, and uh, it's just full of really good information mm -hmm. and recipes and tells people what's coming in the next month or so. Why do you like to garden? I've always liked to garden. Uh, my mother died when I was very young. I was seven. And each of the neighbors, one taught me how to knit, one got me involved in cooking, and one gave me plants for her garden. And that's where my love of gardening started. Wow. So and it's continued. Wow. Yeah. Okay. All right. That should be good.